Well, hi everybody. It's Molly, and um, Wendy and Brian went fishing earlier this week. You know, you do what you have to 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 show interest in your spouse's hobbies and activities. Now, not everybody is going to be happy about the following footage. Those of us who, who find fishing barbaric, for example, or have a, a, a love of birds or anything with the eyes and a heartbeat. But makes him happy, apparently. So check it out. What kind of shark did you say it was? I can't see. A shovel nose shark. Okay, well let's watch you get this off now. There, these I don't have a net or not, but I, I, got, I got one. Okay. You want a net for me? I'll that. That's what I'll go ask if you want a net. Yeah, Wendy, uh, we're actually going to do that. Okay. That's all I'm good for. Go for it. Give it a try. Here, these are good to eat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Pretty good. Brand new. Brand new. <laughs> I'll go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I really give it. I want to see you kiss it. <laughs> French it. You go grab me the, the, uh, the... Oh, look at his eyeballs. Yeah, right? <laughs> McDonald's! I want, a, I want a good view of it. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. Are you keeping that? Yummy. We've got home chef. You don't need it. <laughs> well, there you go. Land shark. Jump on it like an alligator. <laughs> Can you just grab the tail? Oh. Come on, 
There you go. Poor baby. Got road rash now. Alrighty. Good job, honey. Yeah. My turn. How many pelicans did you have to catch before you got that? How many pelicans did you catch before you caught the shark? Three? That was fun. Okay, back to my editing. Okay, so we've got Brian re recapturing his rod that was snagged on that bird and took off and it went flying over the rail and Brian's now getting his rod back. And we're going to watch and see now what he does with the bird. Bird's going to meet the shark. <laughs> Is it still on the bird? Oh, shit. Dolphin's coming in to check, see what's going on. Oh, you're going to drown the poor bird. He got off? Yep. Good. Alrighty then. So when's it my turn? <laughs> no, thank you. Oop, there goes the dolphin. So basically I'm fishing for pelicans and sharks with a standby of a dolphin. That was awesome recovery though, honey. Good job. It only took three casts to get your rod back. Okay. <clears throat> As I said, that, that might have been a little disturbing for us non-hunting entities. And uh, apparently that's, that's going to be prepared and consumed. Not by Wendy, but yeah. They got home and, and he cleaned it and it's in the freezer. She's going to just do Home Chef, so that's coming up real soon and, and it's a fantastic meal. Thank you, Rachel. Alright, well, anyway. Florida fishing, guys. Not for everybody. We had a, an eventful week. Um, a little story about Lily. So, uh, Wendy likes to diamond paint in between calls. And we all know that they've got a sticky surface. So, she was on the phone and, you know, paying very close attention to her customer and not what was going on on her desk. And all of a sudden, a racket and commotion. Well, Apparently, here's what happened. So, um, Lily was curious, as most cats are, and she stepped right into the sticky portion of the painting. Got, you know, two to three feet stuck to it and got a little skittish and tried to take off running. But the painting was still stuck to her. And overturned were several trays and colors and trash bucket of bad drills and quite the clatter and scatter of all the supplies. But Wendy, being the true professional that she is, completely ignored the cat and continued with her call as though nothing had happened. When the call ended, she freed the cat from the kitty flypaper and salvaged her painting and spent the next hour sorting and separating the, the drills back into their proper containers. What was learned from this? When not being monitored or in use, 
Put the cover paper back on your paintings if you have a kitty in the house. <laughs>